our guest today is um jasmine jasmine thank you so much for coming uh, for those of you who don't know jasmine uh is going to be on brad tv's uh, coming show crown lake season three and she's playing the character morgan which <laughs> which is a very interesting character anyway jasmine i'm going to get um straight to the question but before i do that um you you are a producer and a director or a director and a writer yeah. right yeah mm -hmm. okay um jasmine was a uh, in dear wise people in 2018 netflix am i right yes okay then also uh cedar woods uh in 2021 written and directed by you it's mm -hmm. a, a youtube series so guys if you are watching this go check uh this short film out it's it's awesome you'll love it it's the name is cedar woods uh, 2021 and i'll put a link in the description to her to her youtube channel where you can where you can watch cedar, uh, cedar woods and there's there's also another another a bunch of series that you have on your mm -hmm. on your account and all of them are written by you yeah me yep mostly um all me yeah so that's, yeah during going she nearly got to writing that's awesome that's awesome and lastly Thank she's you. going to be in crown lake crown lake is coming uh april on april 12th so she's going to be on crown lake so make sure you guys watch her on crown lake season three How did you get how did you get involved with the series Crown Lake on Brat? Yeah, so um I got an audition from my agent in the beginning of January. And I also got another um, audition for another character on the show too. So I had like two opportunities and I did the scene that they provided me two times for like each character. So I sent them four takes and all was actually like a lot in like, the same scene. So that was good because I didn't really have to like memorize different things. But I sent it in and then like as every audition I had to let it go so I don't like lose my brain trying to like think about this and you know if I got it or didn't get it but um about like two three weeks later my um man agent emailed me and said that they wanted to offer me the role of Morgan mm -hmm. and I was like of course I want the role like who wants a brat <laughs> so um yeah I got the part and I'm just extremely grateful and thankful for the opportunity wow wow it's it's so nice that you got that you got the role to play morgan i think that that mm -hmm. that role actually suits you right it does <laughs> i realize now that like morgan i don't know i just kind of like we're kind of similar in a few ways of course we're different but like we have a lot of similarities so it's kind of like you know kind of easy to kind of get into character because like, i already kind of have like the same mentality of yeah. morgan if that makes sense why why i said uh that rule suits you is because i watched uh your youtube your youtube series uh diary uh, diary of uh, carolina jones mm -hmm. it it yeah, was honestly. it was uh, the storyline was amazing it was an amazing uh, series mm -hmm. so i love it I so my next question is how was the reaction when you got the part you know the reaction of your friends your your mom your family how was the reaction when you got the series oh everyone was so excited i was like really excited um yeah my whole family's been so supportive and i remember whenever my mom told me we were in the car because we just got back from like working out and she handed me the phone right away and i saw it and i went to scream and shout but like we were in the car and our windows were down so if someone heard me scream, that would be pretty interesting <laughs> about the police getting called on us. But um, no, yeah, my mom told me and I like freaked out, I went home and I played music and I danced around. And yeah, my family's been super supportive and I'm really grateful for that. Wow. Wow, that's so, that's so nice. That's nice. Yeah. So um, how would you describe your character, Morgan? Um, Morgan is definitely Matrix obsessed. <laughs> um, she's very smart, really confident in herself, 
Um, and then like, she even wears some pretty cool outfits. That was definitely mm -hmm. my favorite thing about playing more again. Her outfits are insane. Like she wears these shoes and like, I really wanted to take them home, but of course I couldn't <laughs> because wardrobe would have like found out. And then yeah. like, I would got an email saying that I took them. So couldn't do that, but no, her outfits and style is, incredible i'm really jealous of morgan <laughs> <laughs> okay that's that's cool um what do you have in common with your character morgan oh yeah definitely our style senses she kind of uh reminds me of being like emo <laughs> for sure <laughs> and like there was a time not gonna lie like a couple months ago I was kind of through my emo stages and I wanted to wear a lot of black, but like, I don't know, I never really got the chance to wear a lot of black. So for Morgan, I get to live out my emo dreams and that's mm. pretty cool. Yeah, that's so, that's so nice, that's so nice. Um, what was it like being on Brad TV's film set? Oh, it was insane. Everyone was so nice and great. And then um, it was a really creative like zone because like everyone, you know, there loves doing what they're doing, of course, which is creating content. And I just really enjoyed being around people who were also creative and loved acting and, you know, writing content. So it was honestly a great vibe. Wow. So you, 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 so you enjoyed, you enjoyed the wardrobe, right? Brad TV's wardrobe. For sure, for sure. Because <laughs> you, well, before you were saying that you wanted to take some of the clothes home. Yes, definitely did. Like but, she wears these earrings. I'm gonna spoil it. She wears some pretty cool earrings. I wanted to take home too, but I couldn't, sadly. <laughs> from from all the from all the people that I've talked to on Brad, everybody says the wardrobes the wardrobes are good, the foods are good. But what about the food for you? What about what do you think about the foods on set? The food was amazing like the catering that they have it's like it's healthy but like it's so good and then they have these amazing sweets like they have cupcakes and there's this thing i i don't know what it's called it could be called like a cream puff i don't even know but it's like pastry buns and there's like whipped cream in the middle i don't think that it's whipped cream but there's like some kind of like whipped cream in the middle and it's so good and so fresh like Catering and crafty was probably one of my favorite things. I'm not gonna lie. Mm, mm, that's nice. So you you love, I know you love you love acting, but um, what do you like most about acting? Oh, I like most about acting. That's hard because there's a <laughs> lot of things that I love. No, just but, just give us some. Okay, I'll give you some. I think okay, my top one is probably just like being in character and kind of letting like myself go and jumping into someone who has different a mindset than me. And I find that it's really cool because I get to play all these different like storylines and like live in all these fantasies. Like I'm homeschooled. So like I stay at home, I do school and I write and I act and like acting kind of um, brings me out of my shell and out of this world. And I don't know, I find that really fascinating. So it's probably one of my favorite things about acting. Mm, that's cool. So you are, you are not just you are not just an actor. You are a writer. You are a director. So can you describe uh, what influenced you to pursue, you know, all this different aspect of career? Like your directing, your writing. Can you tell us what influenced you to pursue them? Yeah. Um. Honestly, it was Disney Channel. <laughs> Whenever um, I was six, okay, there's a story behind it. I had my first acting audition. I used to live in Texas and I had my first acting audition whenever I was four. And then my brother did it with me too. But like, we didn't like, you know, we didn't get the parts and like, I didn't really do acting. Then I kind of stopped and I picked up track. Um, that's irrelevant to the storyline. But whenever I was six, I was at home and I watched, was watching Disney Channel. And I don't know, something really inspired me. So I ran to my mom and dad. I was like, I really want to do acting. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Jasmine, we already gave this a shot, but thankfully my parents are super supportive. So they're like, sure, let's get into it. So I started doing modeling and commercials since, yeah, I was like six, seven, eight. And then whenever I was nine, I picked up acting and I've been doing it ever since. And my brother also acts too. So like we get to like work together on projects and that find that's really cool. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are really good at what you do. 
that. Okay, so this this one is a tricky is a tricky question. So, um, what do you feel is more important for an actor? Is it talent or training? Ooh, huh? Honestly, I, I feel like it's both. Cause you have mm. to like work hard, you know, put in that hours, go to acting class, you know, just continue to grow in order to like be successful. And I feel like everyone in this like world is talented at something. So I feel like we already have that, that talent deep within us. So just had, having like training and, you know, working hard kind of adds more to it to make you blossom to this beautiful thing or flower. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you 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 really gave that a thought. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was that was that was a nice answer, answer. Jira. But I think I think training training is more because talent. You know, not not everybody have have a you know a talent for acting. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But with with training, you know, you can really do acting with a bunch of training. So my next question is, um, which type of acting do you feel you are most suited for? Ooh, um, I'm not gonna lie, I love drama acting, and I love thriller and horror. I don't know, especially in drama, because like whenever you have a scene between someone, that's like me and like another person, and it's really tense. I just love that like intensity. And then just like that feeling of being in a scene with someone and like you turn off the hat, the crew, and the camera's out and she's like you and that other person. I find that's really cool. I don't know. I really like emotional scenes because it just it pulls on the heartstrings. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Here, here is another question. How do you rehearse a scene if the other actors you need to interact with within the scene are not available? Like shows. Um, Show something. Yeah. Well, okay. Thankfully, um, with my scene partners not available, I have my brother who like rehearses a scene with me, mm. and like we get to go back and forth and kind of create that chemistry. So like whenever I'm on set, I'm able to have more, even more chemistry with my scene partner. But if he's not available, then I just like rehearse the lines a bunch of times before I go to bed, and then like I like reenact the scenes so like I'm really like have it like planned in my mind kind of like what I'm gonna do and choices I'm going to bring to the scene the next day. Mm. Mm. That's cool. Um, what, uh, what are the steps that you take to fully understand your character? Like, for example, you're handed a script now. You're given a script and a storyline. What are the steps do you take to, you know, fully understand the character that you're about to play in the story? Yeah, so um, thankfully for Brat, like for Kind Like, we got all the scripts, like, before we start shooting. So I um, created a character profile for Morgan. And at first, I thought she was like this sweet, innocent girl who was just like, loves computers and everything. <laughs> Whenever I got to the wardrobe, the forbidding, no. I had to redo my whole entire character profile because she is nothing like that at all. But um, yeah, so I got all the scripts and then I was able to like find my character's overall objective, which is what she wants like throughout the whole entire like, like series. And I was able to figure that out and just like, you know, break down to each scene that I was in and just try to grasp more of like who Morgan is underneath the lines. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't wait to watch. I can't wait to to you know actually watch and see Morgan in Crown Lake. Thank you. I'm so it's, excited for it's, my it's going to it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So um, did you take um acting classes or go to an acting school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I did. Um, yeah, especially whenever I moved to California around like 2017, I took acting classes, and now I'm in acting classes, which I love being in acting classes, I love how you said that three times in a row. Um, I love <laughs> taking classes because just like being in a room with all these creative people and like working on a scene together, doing an improv together, you know, we all like push our minds and brains together to create this beautiful scene and moment. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So who is your inspiration? Oh, 
Oh, that's a great question. Um, honestly, I love Shonda Rhimes. She mm. is an amazing writer. I watched her master class and she's just like a boss. Like I would love to like have a lunch with her one day and just pick <laughs> her mind because she's insanely talented and incredible. Oh, nice, nice choice, nice choice. Yes. So, um, what else do you do? What else do you like, you know, other than acting? Mm, um, I love playing the piano. Well, I'm learning to play the piano. Oh. Um, so, yeah, yeah <laughs> you love music too? Love music, love music. I don't know what it is about it. Just music is like another form of like, acting to me you know because there's like emotional emotions behind a song so yeah love playing the piano and then i really want to learn how to play the guitar my brother has one so i just have to like sit down and like you know do some youtube search some lessons up but yeah guitar and skateboarding which i'm getting better at skateboarding but um I can only do one trick and it's literally the most easiest trick in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you get it, you get it. Thank you, thank you. So um how has the series affected your life so far? I know oh. I know the series hasn't haven't uh, premiered yet, but you know, the the thought of you, you know, that you're going to be on a Brad TV series, all those kind of stuff. So how ha has it affected your life so far? Honestly, it's been insane. Like, I used to watch Brat all the time. Whenever, <laughs> like a couple years ago, I used to watch Chicken Girls. I watched the movie. I watched Total Clips. Zoe Valentine. Mm, you are. I watched so many shows. You, yeah. And you are like, a true fan. <laughs> if, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I loved. I loved Brat shows, and to actually like be on a Brat show is like incredible. You know, wow. and just like being on set i've gained so many nuggets by acting that i'm able to like take forward into my career for my next project so oh that's cool from being an actor from being a a fan of brad tv to acting on brad to being a cast member on brad that's that is so nice that is so awesome right that's why i was so it's, stoked whenever it, i booked it i was like what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> so hyped. It's it's crazy. It's awesome. So um, do you, yeah. do, you, do you plan on being on more Brad in more Brad TV shows in the future? Oh, I would love to be in more Brad TV shows. <laughs> I love Brad. Like, I love like yeah, their little universe that they have. Like, I feel like it's such a unique idea, and to be in more Brad shows, I'd be so grateful for it. Wow. That's that's awesome. Everybody wants to be on Brat. Who doesn't want to be on Brat? <laughs> right, who doesn't? Like they're great. I love Brat. Yeah. So, uh, what was your favorite thing? You know, filming on Brat. Ooh, my favorite thing. Um. Okay. So the cast and crew is amazing. I've created so many friends. Of course, wardrobe was amazing, mm. but. Um, I think one of my favorite things was probably, like I said before, the food, because mm. the food was, I'm really sorry for using this word, but it was busting. I'm so sorry, <laughs> please forgive me, but the food was great. Like, I wish I could take some home with me. I did one time, but then like, I don't know, the next day, it's just being there and it being so fresh, it was great. Like, I really miss the food and crafty. <laughs> wow, everybody loves, everybody loves the food and bread. Yes, <laughs> love, love, love. So, um, what should tell us? Uh, what should fans expect from your character, Morgan? Oh, honestly, I don't want to spill anything. So you're no, just gonna no, have to no, 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 no spoilers, no spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, it's um, April twelfth, first first episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't support spoilers. But okay, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna pause on that. So, uh, who is your celebrity crush? Honestly, it's probably acting. Yeah, you know, acting and I have a really great relationship. Mm. You know, it's just, we really totally get each other. I don't know, acting, I just, I love acting. <laughs> no, but, no, but seriously, um, 
Yeah, I don't really have a celebrity crush. I've never had one. I always mm. feel left out too, because everyone always talks about it, but I just don't have one. I don't know. Hmm. The way I see it, you are your, you are your own celebrity crush. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I love that. No, that's yeah. that's the only answer to it. You are your own celebrity crush. Since you don't have a celebrity crush, you you are a celebrity. If you if you don't know, you are. So you oh are your gosh, own celebrity thank crush. You. Thank you. I totally appreciate that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. So, um, what's your favorite song slash artist? Ooh, this is a great question because I love listening to music. Okay. Oh, I have different like answers for this question. So, mm. favorite songs. This song has stuck with me for the past like three years. Mm -hmm. It's called You Were Good To Me by Jimmy Zucker and Chelsea Cutler. And if you put it like the slowed down version, the, of course, so like the original is great, but I don't know. I love slowed down versions with like the rain in the background. Yes, but You Were Good To Me. And then there's this new song I found like a couple of days ago called Hugging You. Um, Great song. I cannot think of the artist right now because my brain is just like, <laughs> like, yeah. Gosh, right now, gosh, what? My brain is just not working right now. But it's called Hugging You, and yes, it's so great. Gosh, I can go on for days about how many songs I love, but those two songs definitely have my heart right now. And then Jeremy Zucker, for my favorite artist, and yeah, yeah, I love Jeremy Zucker. Mm. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know any of the song you are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going to I'm going to check them out right after this. You're gonna give me your No yeah, they're really Jeremy yeah. Zucker has really groovy songs too. Like they're really chill and laid like back. Yeah. I recommend You're going to give more. me like you're going to give me like link and then I'm going to check out the song, okay? Yes, I recommend for sure. <laughs> okay. So um here's my last question for you. It's been it's been quite, you know, an honor talking to you. Um, so it's it's so awesome look my last message is, my last uh question not message my last question is <laughs> what what message would you want to give to the fans to your fans and also to startup actors out there oh, what message okay. would you want to give them all right i have two different responses to this question so to the fans um for Crown Lake, you have a lot coming your way. Of course, I'm not going to spoil anything, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of plot twists, a lot of like <gasps> casting moments, and the characters are so different from each other. Like each person has their own style, their own dynamic, their own like mentality. So I really like hope each and everyone that watches the show falls in love with these characters. I know I have, like, I don't know, the characters are so cool to me. So I definitely think people are going to love the characters and of course the writing. Um, and for fellow beginner actresses and actors who want to start this amazing business, honestly, I'm gonna keep it real because you know, real is the best. It is pretty hard. There's a lot of no's and rejections, but acting is just such a beautiful art in my opinion. You know, you're really vulnerable around all these people to create this this scene that can pull on people's heartstrings that can be memorable. So just don't give up. Have confidence in yourself, believe in yourself. I believe in you and just keep fighting, you know, and if you put in the work, you put in the hours, if you give it all your thought, and you know why you're doing what you're doing. Whenever those hard times hit, if you just know your why, then like remember remember oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Remember that <laughs> and then that's gonna push you through the hard times. So mm -hmm. I believe in you guys. Just oh that's that's awesome i love that i love that oh jasmine thank you, thank you so much it's a no no having you here i appreciate thank you for having me it's such an amazing time <laughs> oh i loved it i love being here yeah i i, I love that too so that's that's the end of it thank you so much for joining me. and i hope to you know having you back here on bright universe and, yes, and I'd love to be back. <laughs> Welcome to the Bratch family. Thank you. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Uh, we hope thank to see you. you. We hope to see you more. And guys, um, Crown Lake season three is coming on April 12th. So 
make sure you you all watch it and you know watch morgan as well right there i hope there'll be there'll be plot twist <laughs> Oh, there definitely will. I'll tell you that. No spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jasmine. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs>